All right, we've talked about all the setup and all of the previews and all of that stuff. We're going to talk about golf for just a minute. William McGirt, Hilton Head Island's own pro. I'm trying to get you to put that on your business card. Well, I'm in Boston, could, actually. Yeah, well, look, <laughs> but you're, you're, you could be the host pro. We could make that. We could just kind of start that. Yeah, it'd be fun. There you go. You know, host an event like Jack Arney and Tiger and... And William McGirt. How about that? Yeah. Everybody look and go, who's that guy? <laughs> ah, nah. Tell me how you're doing. Uh, that's the most important thing. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling all right. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind of day to day. I'll wake up some days and the hip's just really tight. And some days it'll feel good for, you know, eight, ten days in a row. So you just kind of don't know until you wake up in the morning and get moving. So uh, game, game feels pretty good. I've been playing better than I've been scoring cool. every week. So I've seen a lot of progress. It's just been slow. Yeah. We went through this last week with Tiger, mm-hmm. and now it, it sounds like kind of the same. it's a day-to-day thing, and you just never know. Well, I, you know, when you've had as many surgeries as he's had, and I mean, I've had four, so uh, two hips and two two knees, so uh, you just never know. I mean, it, it's it, it's funny to say that I can tell you when the weather's going to change. Um, you know, the arthritis kicks in, and. And next thing you know, it hurts to move. But uh, how far ahead of time can you do that? Twenty-four hours, or can you give me? Can you give me the rest of the? A week? lot of it depends on the pressure change. You know, if you can feel the fronts coming in yeah. hour or two, once that pressure starts to drop or or change at all, you know, you can kind of feel it coming on. But uh, you know, like I said, I, everything's starting to feel pretty good, and uh, you know, I'm slowly starting to get some speed back, um, which is a huge bonus mm-hmm. for me mm-hmm. because. The golf course is getting longer out here. Coming off surgery, I got a lot shorter. <laughs> <laughs> Even this course is getting a little longer well, with the changes at two and five. Yeah, the changes at two and five, I actually like both of them. Um, you know, five especially, it keeps the bombers from being able to knock it over the trees mm-hmm. and, and cut 40 yards off the hole. Um, so they've got to play it more like the rest of us. Um, two, for me, I can't drive it in the tightest part of the fairway anymore. Right. So, and I, and I told uh, Steve a couple of weeks ago when I played out here, I said, you know, I said, I actually may start playing that hole better. I can go for the green and two mm-hmm. and make five every time. Mm-hmm. I laid it up, make four, you know, the majority of the time. It's, it's funny how that works. For the big guys, that left-hand bunker at two now is in play. Is where now you play. Could it before, yeah. I mean, I could hit it over the bunker right. before. Um, but, you know, 40 more yards makes a huge difference on that hole. And what it does is if you drive it in the center of the fairway now, the right trees are more in your way, so it forces you to hit a cut around them. Uh, whereas before, they could bomb mm-hmm. it down the left, get it in the trees, and have the angle come in. Still as long as you weren't stymied right behind a tree, you had a perfect angle into the green from over there. Um, I actually like those those two changes. Um, I still think the old tee on 17 was the best. Okay. Um, You'll I, get it a couple of days. Yeah, well, we'll see um <laughs> that a lot of times they've been telling us lately to be prepared for multiple tees and right. we never get off the back tee yeah um yeah it's just it's a weird angle from over there i think it's a lot harder to figure out what the wind's doing from over there um you know at least when you were up you could kind of see the flags on the tents on the right but it's kind of hard to see those now um but you know golf course is in great shape fairways are a little soft um, you know, greens have picked up a little pace from yesterday, so you know, it's it's absolutely perfect out here right now. I am looking forward to watching you. I'm look. I'm glad you're back and you're, you're in town. You you moved from upstate. Uh, yeah, Why'd you we, do it? we moved from upstate, uh, honestly, because of the winters. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it it's crazy to say that you move three hours down the road, but it's so much warmer and so much drier down here in the winters. Uh, the last two winters we were in Spartanburg, mm-hmm. we had 110 inches of rain those two years combined, and I bet we hadn't had. 15, 18 inches this year, and I probably had four or five days where I didn't want to go out and hit balls because it was too cold. Whereas up there, I mean, if you can hit balls, you're still wearing a sweater at one o'clock in the afternoon, whereas you're wearing shorts down here a lot. The Low Country's pro and weatherman and uh, <laughs> member of the Chamber of Commerce now, too, <laughs> William McGirt. Thanks so much for a little time. Uh, good luck to you this week. We'd love to have uh, have you and Bryson uh, dueling down the stretch on Sunday. Wouldn't that be fun? It'd be nice to have a couple of local guys battling it out. Um, You know, I I know they're sold out for the weekend, but I think there'd be a lot of people trying to find a way to get more tickets. There you go. Thanks so So, much, William. Appreciate it. All right. William McGirt joining us. We'll have much more in just 90 minutes right here on the WHHI Daily News.